complete start today. Uh, fish in the afternoon. At Never been here before, and uh, this is a total spot burn. Jim Reed is posting uh, all these spot burn places, uh, so I'm gonna go burn down his spots. Uh, this is what happens when you put your fishing spots on the internet. People go fish them. Uh, so I'm gonna go and sore mouth as many fish that live in this lake as I can, because I don't think many people know that it even exists. Uh, just found out it had a boat ramp thanks to his video, so I'm gonna drop the boat in. After launching in one of the most difficult boat ramps I've ever had to navigate, I'm in the pond. Got a fish. Oop, first one of the day. He's a little guy, but he's right where he's supposed to be. All right, there's bass in here. I'm seeing some uh, wood out there a little further off the bank. I'm gonna fish that because Isolated cover in a dirty pond like this, it's pretty good. Yep, got him. All right, a little bigger, a little bigger, we'll take it. Not bad for the first uh, couple of casts. Water temperature I've got is 80 degrees exactly. There's another uh, stick out there. Let's see if we can catch another fish off one of them. Oh, yep. Oh, he came off. He came off. Got it. He's got it. Number three. Healthy fish. Nice and chunky. Let's take a picture of the gram. Running out of cover. So I might have to switch to like a crank or something like that to cover water. But the wind is blowing over here in my favor. Oh, there's another one. Had another bite, but he let go. With these isolated pieces of wood, you don't know how big they are, where they begin or end. It's pretty shallow back here. So I'm gonna switch over to a uh, moving bait. Pretty sure that I have a movement 80 with me. Cut off my uh, buzz bait. I was just not feeling the buzz right now. Get down subsurface. Wake him. Cover some water. This bone color should stand out in this uh, dirty water clarity. The general nice pattern. That'll do. Yep, 
Even so, got to keep that rod tip up so it doesn't dive too deep. It'll get deep enough to find some of that wood cover. It is super shallow out here. But these fish can get in these shallows if they want to. Got food, wind. Uh, there might be more of that isolated cover that I just can't see. I don't know if that was a bite or not. Definitely felt different. Uh, hitting bottom out there. I don't think that's a good thing. And fortunately not. Too deep is no good. I switch tactics on this side of the lake because there's no wind. Uh, it's shady. And uh, I just feel like the fish are doing something different if they're over here. Fish on that far side were definitely actively feeding. I switched gears to a trick worm. Just letting it fall free. Letting them pick it up and run with it. Turns out they're all little. Gonna have to turn up my drag if I keep catching fish that big. There's a whole bunch of carp over here too, but I don't expect anything out of them. But these fish are definitely holding on wood cover. Trying not to touch the trolling motor, otherwise, I'm gonna spook them. Seeing more uh, sunfish and bait fish over here. Just more activity in general from smaller sized fish. Uh, little bass are just nipping at the tail of my worm. If I find any deeper water or really good looking tree, I'll probably throw the jig at it again. This is a massive tree. It must be hundreds of years old. And it came crashing down the lake, taking everything else out with it. Uh, but there are no fish hiding in it. I don't know what's up with that. Might throw a crappy tube on a bobber all around the edges. See if that can raise some attention. It's got a decent amount of depth on it. Four feet or so off the end. And there's bait hiding in it. Most of the other lakes in this area have a lot of crappy in them. But when it gets warm like this, they can be hard to catch. Hmm. Fish on. What do we got? Crappy! Oh. All right. One little guy. And you saw how tight he was to the cover. I'm sure the rest of them are. Way up in there. They're nipping at it. Got you that time. Oh, good. it's a bass. Oh, let's see if we can land him. He ain't big. But he's big enough to strain the crappy gear. All right. Little tube, little bass. Let's see if there's anything else in there. They're tugging at it. we are. All right. I 
Well, catch on fish is a nice change of pace. Hammered the fluke. All right. I've seen some fish ladders, but that one is a little bit steep. I don't know what they expect the fish to do. That's a better one. You're picture worthy. Mm, sun, that way. There we go. Healthy fish. So they say never leave fish to find fish. And that's exactly what I did. But you have to forgive me because it's my first time here. Had to explore. Let's try to make a good presentation here. Oh, I think that was a bite. Yep, that was the fish. That one's not nearly the size of the one I saw earlier. Good fish though. And that's why you go back to the spot that held fish. Take some uh, pictures for Instagram, showing that motor jig right in his face. All right. Is there a bigger one? Nothing that time. Kick it into high gear. Ooh. There's another piece of wood. If I had a GPS, I'd mark it. <laughs> but that one had fish on it. Had. <laughs> 